hello friends welcome to my channel novatech video and in this video we will understand how we can define the time limit for the group policy processing because sometimes what happens if we have a certain number of policies or set of policies which are applied to the users as well as computers so and this is going to take a long time uh, when group policies are processing and uh, moreover if you have any script which you are executing in startup or shutdown log on or log off so executing the script takes their own time to execute so it's again up to the script behavior how long it would take so overall if we calculate the timing uh, for the applying the group policies so if it is taking longer than the usual and uh, if you think that uh, there is something wrong going on on the computers and com uh, end users started complaining that group policy not group policy but uh, the starting and the shutting down or rebooting process taking more than 10 minutes or uh, more than that so how we can limit it so that within a certain period of time frame a computer reboots so let's go ahead and uh, understand how we can drill down this issue and overcome on that so this is my domain controller let me show you uh, the group policies here i have one group policy group policy update and uh, here i have added to uh, a script Uh, that is uh, startup and shutdown script and uh, because of those script because they are being executed by the com while the computer is uh, uh, shutting down or booting up so because of that it the client machine that becomes very slow so here we go so these are the script so this is uh, the script i have uh, set as startup and the same script i have uh, uh, set as uh, shutdown script so both the time when the computer is starting up or shutting down this script is, is being executed but uh, assume like uh, you are not sure what's going on and uh, you are also not sure what script you have scheduled because you might have the number of uh, script scheduled but uh, to drill down which script is taking more time you can refer my previous video but in this video we will just concentrate how we can reduce the time of shutting down or uh, uh, in the boot boot process so let's go at so here i have the client machine and uh, it is taking longer time let me show you how long it takes it is taking almost uh, when we restart so this all is happening because uh, in previous uh, video i have shown you how we can see the detailed overview what's going on in the computer and that uh, certainly can help you So let's go ahead on the drone controller and uh, make the changes. So I'll create another policy for this uh, and give the name reduce uh, since this is only one instance. So if you can, if you want to uh, give this setting or set this setting in any other policy, you can do that. Uh, reduce. gp processing time okay so that i have uh, idea on that so here we go now let's edit it okay expand the policies 
and administrators and uh, here you have to expand the system and we have to look for uh, the script a script so this portion is just for defining the time that uh, how long my power cell script uh, should take while it is logging on or uh, logging off so here we are discussing just about this policy so this is a specify maximum bait time for the group policy script so this is the script policy so we will define the time limit so by default uh, by default all the machine in the infra that takes almost 10 minutes and post that on the session kills so now let's go ahead and enable it and let's define the timing that that is just 15 second okay let's do it apply then okay so next time when my computer restarts so it shouldn't take more time because uh, while the computer is restarting that time uh, in the back end some scripts are being executed and if you are not sure what are those scripts so i have uh, prepared one more video uh, you can watch that video that can help you that which script is taking more time that can give at least a clue on that so here let me just do the GP update so that the changes affects immediately and let's go to the computer here also let me update the group policy CMD GP update and force Let's check the computer policies are applied, not. So let's go ahead and uh, reboot. So the shutdown process should not take um, more than 10 seconds. So I am just giving the command to restart. Okay, shutting down service. So this was the service, it was taking more time. And in my previous video, I have shown you how we can enable the debugging or the overview on that. You can see this is stopping. It's been almost 10 seconds only. Restarting and that's done. Previously it was taking uh, almost uh, 90 seconds to execute the script and uh, this time it took only the 10 seconds and uh, some other policies also applied and that's why it took uh, some more time. So that's how you can define the scripting script time how long it should take so this is the group policy. So that's it in this video. I think uh, uh, you can troubleshoot uh, the group policy related issue after watching this and uh, thanks for watching.